Guys, welcome back after that short advert break. Let us wrap up our lesson. So the focus of our lesson today was street maps, suburban maps, provincial maps, as well as national maps. Okay, so we've looked at street maps and we've indicated that it gives an in-depth, right, view of a city, showing streets, the scale, and sometimes also a grid reference. Then also important here is that it is always drawn to scale. We've also indicated that a suburban map shows aerial pictures of industrial or residential areas, right? And again, it also shows some tourist attractions, right? What else is important is we've looked at provincial maps and here we said that it indicates roads and towns that are found within a province, always drawn to a specified scale. And lastly, we looked at national maps, right? Here we said that they connect major cities, a class of major roads and freeways. And again, very important to note is it's always drawn to a specified scale. Now guys, let's look at some common errors, okay? Or things that I would like you to keep in mind and some things that I would like you to avoid. So first bullet here, I've indicated that ensure that you know your general direction as well as your compass direction, right? Make sure that you can find locations, that you can follow direction, as well as to develop directions, right? We can ask you to write up a set of directions. Then, familiarize yourself first with the map before attempting any question, right? Take, take a few seconds, look at what is presented to you. Then, ensure that you can express yourself verbally, Right, so this go hand in hand with what I've indicated here. You must be able to develop directions, follow, right, to write it down. By using relevant terminology, for example, up, down, north, east, etc. Then, ensure that you can read of grid reference. Okay, so you've seen, very important. Read the question or the instruction with due diligence. Like you've seen with some of our questions in today's lesson, a lot of information was given to us, right? It's our prerogative, it's up to us, up to you to make sure you understand where does what fits in and to basically understand the question. But in order to do that, you need to read with due diligence, right? And as I've always indicated, underline and circle, highlight the important words, okay? Then changing or manipulating the subject of the formula. Guys, you've seen how important that is, so make sure you are able to do that as well. Okay, so before I end off today's lesson, let me quickly leave you with a challenge, all right? So this is the challenge for this upcoming week. I've indicated here that Oliver is traveling from Mokupane in Limpopo to Ermelo in Mpumalanga, right, to deliver some goods. So there's the map. Minutes before he left, he was informed of an accident on the N11 just before Marble Hall. So I'm sure you'll find all of these places I'm referring to and the road that I refer to now, National Road, you'll be able to locate it. Provide him with an alternative set of directions from Mokopane to Ermelo. All right, so there's your challenge for the week. Have fun, enjoy it, and make sure you use the correct terminology when answering this question. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Hope to see you next time. Remember to work every day. Stay safe. Goodbye.